Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hackbell channel. How are you all doing? In today's video, we're going to be having a look at Lele Pons. She recently got a documentary called The Secret Life of Lele Pons. In this series, it addresses her mental health issues. There are two sides to the story. I personally think she's manipulating her audience and her personal young audience. She's trying to get sympathy and empathy for it. I personally think she's trying to um, get empathy and sympathy points just because um, she that's how she usually gets away with everything. Like um, YouTube like favours certain creators over each other, like Jake Paul. Well when they were very relevant anyway, like Jake Paul and like Logan Paul. But now that's not really happening anymore, so YouTube's improving in that sense. But anyway, I'm going off track. So yeah, I think lately Pons is using sympathy and empathy. But also, um, just because you have mental health issues doesn't make you exempt from consequences from your actions. I just had a free. So basically, right? <laughs> Sorry if I keep stuttering. She has like is she's had a history where like she manipulates she people and she's she, like her friends have even come up like showing screenshots and stuff. Um, so she's she's had manipulation, a history of manipulation and dumping friends for business and monetary gain, which is kind of scummy in itself. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Firstly, her friend was close to even back this theory up, saying she was very manipulative. They also said they saw her changing personalities, which could suggest she was like pretending to be someone else. See, Basically, a mirage of, her. she would always of be herself. Changing so, like, she's playing board. different characters. Like, oh, one minute she's this like kind of personality. So, like, she's really bubbly, and then one minute she's like really down. Although well, that's just an example, but like, it's, it's kind of uh, sad. If that's how you are, and you're not really expressing your true self, like your your actual personality, um, you want to get sorted out, really. It's not like multiple personality disorder, but it's like, I know it's just very weird. Or well, have you noticed, like, throughout the video you've been watching, have you also noticed the fact that every... This is a new no field in which she's so it's good like, at it. She's a always perfectionist. Yeah, her family she's such an amazing job. Wait, and, like, her creativity is a genius. So she's like a genius when it comes to that stuff. What I really liked about Lily was that she had no fear. Okay, his eyes pretty much got a big eagle, bigger than his forehead, mate. Oh my god, man. Really seriousness, like. So whenever like, she gets any kind of criticism or like a mean comment, she doesn't agree with, she calls it a hater or or something like that, but in reality it's just constructive criticism. For example, you're unfunny or something like that, like which being honest, she really isn't funny. She makes she's the, the random Lele is one of the most bullied people on the internet. So you can really tell the fame and success and being called a genius and hilarious. She's like a genius. Really got to her head because all these comments are talking about how she's unfunny. That's not really being bullied. That's just criticism. Instead of thinking that you are the funniest person in the world, Lele, maybe reflect on those comments and maybe change the way you do things or not because you're successful and why would you care if anybody calls you unfunny when you're making millions of dollars? They just Latina who just makes weird noise, weird faces and noises like ah, funny. Like it's just stupid, man. I'm also going to show you a clip right now. It's like a friend saying she's a genius, which is also backing my theory that, like, she's got a big ego and her friends aren't helping. They aren't criticizing her. They're basically her yes men. It's like um, Logan Paul and I can't remember his name. He's always agreeing with him. He's always saying he's right. And that's not right. You want people around you who can give you constructive criticism and who will be there for you at the same time. As it's not a very healthy relationship if you if you do that. Um, she also hates the fact that when people use the word Latina against her, even though that was her, um, even though that was her own punchline, she made it, and she drove into the fucking ground, making it even more funny than she already was before anyway. Latina, true Latina, true Latina, we Latina, please. Okay, Latina, 
this isn't comedy, but this is. Just because I'm Latina. That made this la, 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 for me. Maybe it's for like. Latina, Latina bitches. Features, You're the one who. Like in the womb, that make, made it funny, you know? Like, they'll play like, like a fart noise or something, the like, you annoying know, orange. You know, annoying orange is pretty funny. Am I right? No? Oh. Well, I thought the annoying orange was pretty sick. But in episode 5, I can't remember what the name is, but in episode 5, it's something around like, my daddy's gay, and I think she's trying to gain sympathy and empathy from the gay forward slash LGBTQ community. I think it's leaning more to LGBTQ. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I think she's leaning towards other communities like she's trying to get as much attention and empathy as possible because she said a lot of really bad things she's also had a very bad history like good attention any attention is good but like not bad attention like um it reminds me of ryan franklin he was a british youtuber who was flexing and stuff not as bad as this it's that that situation was tame like if comparing it to local poll whatever but um, if you if you if you look in the tags of Lily Ponder's video with the documentary, it has fake tags to promote the video in the algorithm. And um, she also, which are relevant, the reason why people may not like her content isn't because it, it, I don't know. It's like she said, everyone hates her. <laughs> no one hates her. The reason why people may not like her content isn't because of her comedy, it's because of her ego and how she is in general with people. She was she was she was also saying she hates the commentary like who makes videos. If we don't hate you, we just want to give our criticism. Like save parasitical by someone that hates me and that person that hates me is like go attack her and that's the the, the thing that I think this is a good point to end it on. Uh, I think here Lele Pons is referring to us. Not us as in you and me, us as in me and other commentary channels. I want to get this straight. When I make a video on someone, I don't want you to hate them. I like laughing at things. I never try to take anything too seriously. Don't go and leave hate comments on people's videos. For the record, I never see this happen. If anything, people always go to the channels of people I make videos on and show them a lot of support. I don't see my channel as ripping apart something. I see it as adding another layer onto it. So it's like, hey, there's this base thing that entertains a lot of people. Here's me and I may not like it, adding something on top and making this thing funnier, hopefully. So yeah, remember there's always a real person behind a camera. Don't leave hate comments to people you don't know. I've made a video. He doesn't hate you. He doesn't hate anyone. He just does it because he wants to and he wants to give his opinion. Like, does he hate Petscop too? No, that's just his opinion. And we are rightfully allowed to say our opinion. It might not, you might not agree with it. But yeah, she addressed People who make videos in on YouTube, basically the commentary community, they're just giving our opinion. Our opinions. It's not we don't like her or it, they don't hate her. It's just they want to give her opinion, and no one would hate her because if if they said, "Oh, I hate Lily Pond," it wouldn't look good. People would want to subscribe, and you know, no one likes negative attention at all because you'll get you'll attract like people like gnome, the gnome who like uh, he just leeches off people for views. Like he's like. Mm views <laughs> well yeah she addressed commentary community uh, commentary community in the video um so uh, everyone knows that she she has a music brand she has a label whatever but um <clears throat> so what happened was she was recording in the studio and basically um the producer was there he was doing his thing you know he was doing what a producer does, he wants to make the best possible product for the consumer and you know people are listening to Lately Pons because they surprisingly like her music. Um, I don't like it but that's just me. But um, in this in the studio her producer is complimenting her but criticised her and you know it wasn't like anything major. She said oh I like what you're doing, you're doing great. But I wanted to tweak this little thing. Bring it back one more time. Very, very and then just, and just try not to end the last. She, she uh, broke down into like a mental uh, breakdown. So she had like. Like he tells me, okay, do it like this, 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 and then I'm like, oh, it's like this. Crying. So I do it. And uh, she starts petty. crying over that. And she was, she has the dream job. Can I take a break? Doing what she loves. Can we take a break? A very, very small, insignificant thing can set her off, proving she can't be. She can't be. Can I take a break? This is because her parents and her friends and whatever. 
they are always saying yes lately you're you're great you're this you're that you're that and it just annoys me this is what i don't like about celebrities at all like um i want to say someone like jake logan paul i know this may sound stupid but i don't like the millie bobby, millie bobby brown either because they pretend they have these perfect lives and like they try to I don't know, like they try to get down like their, they try to relate to their audience who aren't as nearly as successful as they are, they have normal lives, they live, they could live in a flat, they could live on a, on a state, like a normal house, like an affordable house, they may do a 9 to 5 job, but these people have so many, so much money and they have the dream job they could ever wish for, and then they just say, Oh, I, I can't deal with this. Like, you don't see me if I'm on a bad day. Oh, I'm going to record a documentary and cry to my fans and manipulate them. No, you don't. I deal with it and we move on. That's how it works. That's life, Lately. Lately, you live in your mum's house, 23 years old. You're a millionaire. And whenever you record something... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did you forget? Oh, yeah. So, you were in your house... You recorded a video, cats and goats and shit were literally pooing everywhere and you didn't clean it up. You literally say in the video, oh yeah, um, I say I'm going to clean up to my mama, but she ends up doing it anyway. So you literally treat her like trash. Oh, that's no way to be, Lily. You don't pay her, you don't show any kind of decency. Like, you say you have OCD, but again, it doesn't make you exempt from criticism or some fucking decency and um, I don't know it's it, it just I'm so sick of people I'm s I don't know man I'm gonna leave it there I, I don't know how I feel it just annoyed me to read my fucking script because it's like I want to say so much more but that's all I really have to say on the situation you know if you want to see more on this I will definitely do so um, I want. I only watched um, a few videos on this. I actually never truly watched the show. I watched a couple of episodes, but I will thank. I would love to thank James Marriott and and um, Amma Go Steel. Um, these 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 people basically helped me uh, get the information I needed. They didn't obviously reach out to me because they didn't obviously. But I watched that video. It was my recommended and. I just thought, I want to say my opinion on this. Not for views, definitely not. Not me. <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, just, just subscribe. Right now. But, um, I feel like they had very, very valid opinions. And this isn't just Waffle, by the way. Um, go and support their videos. Especially Amigo Steel. He made a very, very good, like, uh, long video explaining more things in detail. Mine was just very, very simplified, and, and you, you know, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. Like, it's not really my place to say. But, like, again, seeing how she can't take any criticism, if it made me feel like I want to do something. I want to say something. So, here we are. Anyway, subscribe right now, or you will die. You better do it right now. I'm joking. Um, like the video if you like, and join my Discord that I don't promote it enough, so you may as well join it for the nice people. We are currently on 85 members on the server, so you know whatever floats your boat, join it if you like. Please, please join it, or your mum gets it.